one in the chamber. So. Okay, right. All set up, ready to go. Got BB in the chamber already. Get the mag in, All right? Okay. Switch to rock and roll mode. Why? Why is it doing that? I've refilled the, the mag with some more gas. I'm going to try again for the, uh, the second part of the test. More full water this time. Already got a feed in the chamber? Yes, I do, I thought so. Try and wrestle this mag into place. There we go. This seems a good for the push. Okay. Rock and roll mode. Silicon all over the lower here, all over the optic. Lovely. Oh well. Right. Using different mag this time. Hopefully we'll actually get to work and get to show you the other half of today's test. You need to do a lot of testing with these things before you're gonna try and make a video out of them. They are a pain in the ass. Worth it when you can get them working right, you know, nicely finely tuned, being reliable, and you know, I'm sure there's plenty of naysayers out there, oh you'll never make a WA reliable. But I've got, a, I've got another one and I've skirmished it and they can be, but they can easily get problems, so let's give it a go again, shall we? Full auto mode, time to fire a few rounds. Check it. Just, there's a lesson to learn there, moral of the story, okay. Let's try. Why, 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 why? The buff is too heavy. Huh? The buff is too heavy. No, but it worked on the first mag. Okay then. Right, full auto with a heavy weapon. Plotter doesn't like to behave, so we're just going to try a bit of semi-automatic, just so we can at least get the video done. Crowley. 